guys, uh, so today I have just been to a shop called Pets Corner and I have got a load of hamster things so I thought I would do a little haul. So yeah, let's just get into it. So the first thing I have here is this jar. Uh, this is going to be where I store all of Acorn's forage. It's just a glass jar, nice lid. So I thought, why not get it because it was only £2. So that's my first item. Next item we have is this bag of monkey nuts. I have been running low on these, I've got like one left. So I thought I'll just get a massive bag and it will last me for ages. So yeah. And then the next item, these aren't really like toys, they're just like things that I needed to top them. Uh, I've got these sunflower hats. These are just, I'm pretty sure they're just like the inside of Sunflower seeds, I'm not sure though. Um, but these are for birds, but I use them in Acorn's food. His food is hairy hamster. I actually need to feed him today, so I might make a video on that now. <laughs> so these are the sunflower hearts that I got. And then, I went a bit excessive and I got two bags of forage. I didn't need, but I wanted. Because uh, I only had like a tiny bit left. So I got... Nora's summer salad and then I got Nora's vitality salad so they're both different and I think Acorn's gonna love them this is the one I normally get but I was like why not so first thing I'm gonna do is pour all my herbs into this jar so right now I've just got this bowl of herbs I normally just put like cling film over it so these are going to go in. These are my old ones. They're going to dust my bowls. Ew. That's gross. Okay, let me grab some scissors. That's so gross. Here we go. Just got to cut this open. That smells amazing. This is the vitality salad so what i'm going to do is so that they get mixed up uh, i'm going to i don't know if you saw the message but my camera is low so yeah so what i'm going to do is just to mix them up a bit i'm going to do a handful of each and then i'm just going to like shake them up that should be fun. Ugh, I need my scissors, right? Let's cut this bag open. Throw it in my bin. You always need a bin next to a cage, I feel like, if you've got a hamster. Just because you've always got rubbish to throw away. Like, I literally never don't have rubbish that needs throwing away. Oh, why did I get too bad? It's not going to fit. Oh, I'm stupid. Right, let's just keep filling and we'll see what happens. It's going to look cool in this jar though. I'm happy that I got like loads. So I'm never going to have to top up. Well, I will have to top up eventually, but not for a while. It's fun. Uh, so, little update on Acorn. He's doing really well. He's made a burrow under his wheel, which is annoying. I changed his cage setup last week. No, yeah, last week, last Saturday. So, I'll show you that in a second. Oh, this is too full. Why? This is only like 100 grams as well. Ugh, that's incredibly annoying. What is that monstrosity? That's massive. Anyway. Ooh, dandelion. Oops. I'm just going to try and compress it down. Fit as much as I can in. I might even give him some just to get rid of it, but I actually didn't give him some because I didn't have any left. Uh, I reckon one more handful of this and that's all it's going to hold. Uh, I think, so yeah, that's probably its maximum. I filled it right the way to the top. I'm quite proud of myself for that. Right, so let's grab its lid. stuff on but why do I keep finding little gross bits right just 
welcome along for that. And I'm going to go put this on my shelf. Righty tighty. Now, I'm just going to store these. And yeah, that's basically all I'm going to do for this video. I will make another one in two minutes of feeding Acorn. Let me just chuck these extra bits just in his cage. He'll love eating them. Also, this is massive. I'll feed it to him with a tree, I reckon, because he's never going to consume that. So, hope you enjoyed this video, and goodbye.